Every year, many Nepalese travel abroad for various purposes, be it for studies, business, or employment. But during this festive period, no matter where people are, they try and return to their homeland to celebrate with their family. Dasai and Tihar, both which last for almost one month, is an ideal time for holidays and recreational activities. It is also taken by Hindu as a time to race out all the stresses they have had for a year-long time due to their workload. Tihar is celebrated from Trayodasi of Kartik Krishna to Kartik Sukla Dvitiya every year. It is also called Dipavali or Yam Panchak. During this five-day long festival, animals like crows, dogs, cows and bulls are worshipped. It is believed that crow is the pet of the god of death Yamaraz and every now and then it forecasts about the days to come. Thus, on the first day of Tihar, crows are worshipped. People feed crows with delicious foods in order to make it happy, hoping that it brings good news always. This first day of Tihar is named Kag Tihar, Kag being the Nepali name for crow. The second day of Tihar is called Kukur Tihar. Dogs who since very long have been man's pet or guard or a great company is worshipped on this day. It is believed that dogs are the ones that guard the gateway to heaven and that if you worship and respect dogs on this day, you will be excused of the sins that you will have committed after death. Thus Hindus pamper dogs with savory food items and delights of its choice on this day. Almost every dogs around every corner can be seen with happy belly, garlands and red tikka on their foreheads. The third day of Tihar is a new moon day. During the morning and daytime, people worship cow, which is believed to be the pet of Lakshmi, the goddess of wealth. On this new moon day, it is relatively darker during the night than it is normally on other new moon days. Therefore, people light up dios and candles or as of recent, light electric bulbs to lighten up their house and erase the darkness. This day is called Gai Tihar or Lakshmi Puja. In the evening, the goddess of wealth Lakshmi is worshipped in the hopes that she blesses us with prosperity and happiness. Nepal, previously known for being an agricultural country where farming was done by the toiling hands of farmers with the help of bulls, it is only prudent that the animal that helps raise rice fields should as well be worshipped. The fourth day of Tihar is the day when bulls are worshipped in terms of appreciating their effort and their work to help feed millions. This is also the day when in Newar community have Ma Puja meaning self-worshipping ceremony and it is also the day when a new year on Nepal Sambath begins. For Ma Puja, all the family members in Newar community gather up, build a mandap, light up candles and worship their self. This kind of act is believed to provide people with self-respect and inspire them to live with dignity. Nepal Sambar 
रो वर्ष देखि राम हो हिसाब से आपने शरीर आप पूजा करने हो On the very night of Lakshmi Puja, girls perform bhailo all night long which includes cultural singing and dancing on as many houses as possible, collecting money, sweets, sell rotis and blessings from the landlords. <laughs> While Bhailo is for girls, boys perform Deusi with equal fun. The last day of this festival is called Bhai Tika, a day where sisters put Tika on foreheads of their brothers to ensure long life and thank them for the protection they give. A special garland is made for the brothers out of a flower named Makamali that does not wilt as quickly as the other flowers. Sisters also put Tika on their brother's forehead which consists of seven different colors, colors of the rainbow. Brothers in return give them special gifts that include money, clothes and sagun made of dried fruits, nuts and candies. For this day, brothers always make it up to their sisters no matter how far they reside. All the Nepalese living either in Nepal or in abroad a very warm wishes of happy Deepavali.